Let's go to Elu in an hour. Elu in an hour. Okay, seriously, I never go to Elu. Everyone's like, oh, you should go to Elu. Okay, let's send a spacecraft to Elu and back. Fox your engines in the bottom? Why would I fox my your my engines in the bottom? My engines in the bottom are exactly right. They're designed so that they don't hit each other. That's what I've got. I've deliberately... That is not a bug. Those engines are deliberately like that. So I'm not going to fox them for you. Okay. What do you think? Anyone want to place bets? It's standing just fine. Ah, we're getting just over 1G of thrust, which is a good sign. And now, here is an interesting... It is actually working. You know, I'm going to turn off SAS here. For the simple reason that we, uh, it may be inducing some wobbling. I have to say, I'm always quite surprised when I get this far and the thing hasn't killed me. Of course, we still have those external boosters that we're going to lose. Oh, dear. We're now shooting through the sound barrier. Max Q. You know what? We might just have to do this in a far from ideal fashion. <laughs> we're just going straight up here. Oh, yeah. Let's ditch those things. Oh, excellent. First stage separation. Went without a hitch. Okay. Uh, decouple. Some bits are still flying around, but this, this is going to do just fine. Yeah, Jeb is unfortunately not here to save the day. He is going to be the one that, uh, <laughs> he's going to be the one that says, I told you so. Okay, ready? Off we go! Just gonna let this build up to about 100 meters per second and then tell it to start following its nose. There. Follow your nose. Feel the way gravity is pulling you down inexorably towards the center of the planet. It's not really a force more a curvature of space-time that's messing with your perception of what a straight line actually is. I'm gonna actually tell it to stop that turning right now until we get a little higher and a little faster. Obviously overcooking the turn just a bit. Hopefully though, once we get close to burning out a solid fuel, I'm gonna point it back towards the the velocity vector. There we go. And then ditch those. Right. So the reason I pointed it back towards the velocity vector was that was the point at which I was most likely to... Oh, look at them die. It was the point at which they were most likely to not destroy themselves. 
Still, that looks pretty awesome. And we're now picking up some heat here. <laughs> 53 kilometers. Really getting hot here. Don't worry, we expected this. It's entirely part of this plan. Just don't wobble yourself to pieces. 80, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 89. I'm just going to shut off the power now. Okay. So we're just going to float in there. Do I know the way to San Jose? Yes, I do. I occasionally go through San Jose on my way to Cupertino. Yes, Alameda is where they keep the nuclear vessels. Did you know that that movie was released 30 years ago? It was released in November 20... Uh, sorry, November 1986. So that's 30 years ago. Have I been to Melbourne? I have not been to Melbourne. I would love an excuse to go to Australia, to be honest. I have many things that I remember like... I, in, I think I would like about Australia. Whoa, look at that. Estimated, oh man, I totally nailed this estimated burn time, except for the fact that I'm about to ditch part of my spacecraft. Still, I'm going to be in my escape burn. Oh! Still, we did it just fine. Yes, excellent. That is pretty good. Bit of an oscillation there, but don't worry. Uh... You know what? I'm going to throttle down a little here. <laughs> Before, I don't want to shake my spacecraft apart. We've got this weird snake-like wobbling going on. <sighs> I think we're fine. Yeah, Star Trek 4 is one of my favourite movies, but it's really interesting to see how it is not representative of the Bay Area. Oh yeah, no, I used to remember the Sun Microsystems campus. It's really, you know, nobody used to go, get photographed next to the Sun Microsystems logo, but everybody's always taking pictures next to the Facebook logo. And the big, there's a giant sign, which is like a big thumbs up, and there's always people that think they're so cute going, Look at my giant thumb! And they're like, oh dear. Yeah. Look at me go into space. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Star Trek is its such a good movie, that, that series. Oh, Shuj and Tribble. I used to use uh, Alpha. I actually... Well, we had True64 systems, uh, or digital Unix, deck Unix. We had that at the observatory because their double precision floating point units were so damn fast compared to anything else out there. And uh, I got like a little cheap Multia box, which had more megahertz than anything else at the time. And I ran Linux on it. And I was one of these guys really doing, you know, all sorts of fun pioneering stuff. But, you know, it had some weird issues. <laughs> I just remember. So, uh, I remember that the Java implementation on it, there was some bug related to a Java IRC client where if you pressed backspace, it would literally cause the entire machine to panic. So, um, yeah. And Scott did see your poop video, and whoa, that was damned scary. What was scary? The scary bit about the the poop floating around the cabin? Or the scary bit about the air rushing out between the astronauts' legs? Or the scary bit about how people went poop on the, you know, in the Apollo bags? Because all of those are pretty scary if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now ready to fire up my engine here. Brilliant. Let's see how much, how far we get. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny that I had almost exactly the right amount of fuel to make my escape burn, but not more. Okay, I'm just going to decouple that. And activate this engine. Oh, 
beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? This really does feel like a work of art here. Open. So we need someone to perform an EVA. Why is this thing rotating? That's better. Hold attitude. What? Why is there something... Hold... What is going on here? Why is there something triggering yaw? Okay, try this again. Time accelerate and stop. I know, there's something in my stability control that is misbehaving. Okay, so this thing... Uh, open the docking shield. And now, he's the pilot, so he's going to be the one to do it. Lights on. Oh, oh, yes, okay. He's a pro pilot. He knows what he's doing. This is where I realized that I should have probably tested this in low orbit. Oh, also, I was just about to think, I hope I put the, the, um... <laughs> I was just about to think, I hope I put the um, the hatch on the correct side. That would have been rather embarrassing to not be able to get in and then have to, you know, figure out something else to do. Okay, let's board this sucker. And if next, decouple node. Okay, are we, we're going to use the correct thing here. Now... Let me just try this. Ah, excellent. Beautiful! Oh man, that looks so good! I could have used the transfer option without... Uh, if I'd actually thought about that. But you know what happens? Uh... I am one of these old school players that rem that forgets that this feature was added. La da da da, ja ja, ja ja, la 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 da da, da 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 F5 to save that. Now, do we really come into the sphere of influence of Elu so far from it? Oh, there it is, right there. Man, it's really tiny. Practically indistinguishable from the stars. Okay, and warp to next maneuver. Yay, here we go. Diving in, and we're here. Okay, now, throttle up the engine. And I do have to be careful because this thing is sitting on a... What do you call it? On the tip of this, on a single maneuver thingy, and that's us. Is that us captured? That is. Sh that is not us captured. No, and that is just me beginning to perform something. I guess we're just not quite as escape velocity as we were before. Come on! Oh, and yes, we have to ditch this stage. Okay. Uh, decouple. Oh, and. I said, oh yeah, that's it. Okay, throttle up. Activate engine. There we go. Good thing I transferred fuel out of this before that, right? Now, this is going to take a whole lot longer. It says it's going to take six minutes. Well, okay. And... And that's us. Okay, now... Now let us prepare for this descent. Sorry, only the pilot is getting to go. Because that's what matters. Oh, you know what? I still have my thing on sensitive mode. I'll wait until I'm like 30 seconds away. Okay, now... Now what I'm going to do is temporarily enable the torque.
Oh, this thing should actually have tons of fuel. Now I look at it. Oh, only thing is, I have... Oh, wait a second. Looks like uh, I'm going to end up on the slopes unless I manage to do this. Unless I manage to turn in here a little. That's what I'm doing. That's better. F yeah, I'm going to be fine. I, I thought I had... I don't know, for some reason I thought Elu had more... Higher Delta V requirements than the moon. But it looks like we're going to be fine here. I've killed 200 meters per second. And yeah, we're doing fine here. Now, where's the question is, the sun is there. So I should be looking for uh, a shadow in this direction. That's the thing. So I'm going to bring my velocity down to about 100 meters per second now. Ah, there's my shadow, right there. Still no idea what my actual altitude is. I could have brought both of them down easily. Damn it! Velocity killing... Velocity being brutally murdered by my twin rocket engines. Yeah, the other thing is I could have totally got away with just one engine on this and saved myself tons of fuel and everything. We get about 1G acceleration out of this. Twenty meters per second. Eighteen meters per second. Okay, coming in for the landing here. Ha! Excellent! And, look, I have more than half of my fuel left. So, yeah, I totally could have took everyone with it. Elu is just like any other planet. Okay. And with that, it's time to go home. It's it's funny that one of the comments that always comes out is, Why did you never plant a flag on Elu? And the reason is, of course, that back when I did this for the first time, there weren't any flags in the game. Yes, 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 okay, that's us. And we're gonna go off at 135, we're targeted. And throttle up. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna come up there about 19 kilometers. We're a little, a little early, but we can make some corrections and all that. But that's, that's us doing pretty well so far. I'm gonna bring my speed down to 50 meters per second. There we go, so that should be 20 seconds away, actually. Let's bring the speed down to like 30, so I'm 30 seconds away. 11 meters per second, I have target in sight. We're coming in at about 30 miles per hour, slowing down. And we're in final approach here, 14 meters out, moving in at about 0.1 meters per second. I'm really quite liking this uh, last minute docking here. Docking is so, like, relaxing. Oh, turn it off. Oh, wow, I totally got the dock on one goal. 